Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Beast Wars Transformers issue number 4, IDW Comic Review. <clears throat> now, as you know, IDW have now done their own version of Beast Wars, originally did Beast Wars The Gathering, and that, which were more like in between season 1 and 2. This one is meant to follow its own continuity. And the cover mainly has Dinobot with his sword behind him, looking on in a, in a Japanese style. And the issue picks up after the events of issue 3. We see Nyx deciding to fly, saying, But I have to get home before I can tell it, so I better get oh. So, of course, you can tell the computer system warns Nyx that it's too dangerous to fly in that, but says, Guess I better start flying then. And tries to fly, but to little to no effect. But of course, something's rustling in the bushes. And we see how Nyx decides to walk back on foot, even though it will be dangerous due to ed energon poisoning. Just then, a giant saber toothed cat shows up to try and attack Nyx. And of course, Nyx says, You're kidding! Kidding! Well, as much as I hate to blast an organic that doesn't know any better, but find out she can't use her weapons, and after that, decides to improvise. And of course, just as it's about to attack her, and just as Nyx closes her eyes, she finds out Donovan has just saved her, saying, You should be more careful, little Maximo. Predators are everywhere. And of course, takes care of it. And you can tell that Dinobot doesn't want to be a Predacon anymore after seeing what Megatron and his forces were like. And, of course, Nyx asks, how did you find me? Dinobot clearly points out that his, that his raptor form can sense, like, sensories, even metal. And Nyx says, are you telling me I stink? <laughs> Of course, ends up getting getting badly injured and unable to move. So, of course, Dinobot tries to f throw in a sort of home beacon and other things, but can't because of his Predacon program. But decides to take her back on foot, saying, Good, direct me. We see in the Maximal ship how Optimus' team, Keto and Rhinox, are trying to sort out the computer system, but Keel finds out there was a Predacon techno and outgoing transmission. But Rhinox says to Keel that the Pax Transformers wanted to share most of their knowledge with the Predacons. And of course, this is where you can tell Rhinox tries to say to them that not all Predacons are bad. And that there have some that work with the Maximals together peacefully for generations. And he, and this is where you can kind of tell Ratcrap doesn't really trust the Predacons. As in the TV show, he was skeptical about them. So of course, he uses one of Nick's devices from her quarters. And it starts a little ping. We see Optimus saying, tell me that ping means my idea worked. What idea? I thought you were too good for the jungle patrol. Funny, I repurposed a data controlling shell into a dish for a stronger signal with the protosome pod network. So of course you can tell Ronox is impressed and says, You'll spoil my reputation. Oh look. But finds out that Nick's single's coming in weaker and Optimus realising they should have done something sooner. Back at the dark side, we see how Tarantulus is working on the systems and finds out that Dinobot installed a trap in the security system, with Tarantulus saying, I'm the greatest genius Cybertron has ever seen. I'm not going to be undone by some small-minded grunt who doesn't even deserve to call himself a... I've done it! We're free! Well done, Tarantulus. So of course this is where Metatron sends out his team in different in different groups. One's from the sky, Scorponox to kind of 
followed D Dinobot's trail, and having Skirt and also Tarantulas come with him, and even installs a self-destruct system in case anything happens. So we see how Optimus and the team look out for Nyx, they see Dinobot with Nyx, and they quickly say, Protocon! And then we charge in full speed, and Dinobot saying, Ah, as it seems, we've been noticed. And of course says, Greetings, Maximal. I am Dinobot. So of course, Nick, Dinobot puts Nick's down, and this is where you can tell she all jumps to conclusions. And pretty much, Dynamot makes quick work of Cheetle, who says, Why do I suddenly have this overwhelmed sense of deja vu? So, of course, of course, this is where you can kind of tell, Dynamot tells them that he's seen Nyx's honor, Megatron and his forces lack it, and he says to them, I'd like to know. I formally request to become a Maximal. And yeah, the next issue is going to probably feature Donobot in chains, and this is the story. So I think this issue's not too bad, as we do see the after effects of issue 3, we see how Donobot finally realises where his true loyalties are, and him finally realising that Megatron and the other Predacons lack the honour. So I think this issue deserves a thumbs up. Still good. And still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.